when we made QTimer, we thought of this timer list as a schedule. So in this example, it would mean that John would start, then it's Jane and June and Jen and Jin. And uh, we made it very easy to start these timers in the correct order. So you can just push fire and fire like this, and it automatically goes down the list. But after talking to some customers, we realized that sometimes you don't have an order like this and you just want a list of timers that you can play randomly. So in the newest version, we made some changes. Uh, let's say that instead of having the same duration, then we now create a list with different timings that you can choose between. And to make it easier to fire these timers, we added the option link, queue and edit. This means that now if we select a timer, it will be ready to play. So now we can very easily fire this timer and go here just by using the keyboard. And it works nice along with this other button, which is the single mode. This is old. But um, this mode means that when you fire a timer, it, the, the next timer will, will not change. So that you can push like this on and off and just restart the same timer. So these two options together gives a different workflow in QTimer. You go from this chronological schedule where you just need to push the fire button to go through the list and instead you now have a list of different timers that you can fire randomly.